Hello, so welcome to pocketgamer.biz. So we're play, playing around with our Apple TV, but before we kind of set it up, I thought I'd do a quick uh, comparison, really. So um, looking through a few old boxes, what did we find? So this is, let me see that. Who remembers that? The Ouya. So it's obviously quite a chunky thing. It's a couple of years old now, that one. It kick-started and then didn't really go anywhere and got bought by Razer. <coughs> and, um, and uh, is no more Android based. Um, so kind of a, I guess it's a more similar thing to the um, Apple TV because um, all it was just for gaming. Is this? So this is the uh, the Nexus. Um, let's just to show you the size of the of the of the box, I suppose. So that's the Android TV. Um, and in comparison, here here we are. Here's Apple TV. So okay, one thing to see. This is you can't obviously. Uh, it's quite quite heavy. I mean, you can see <coughs> size wise compared to the um, Android. Um, TV, Android one's obviously circular for for more stylistic purposes, I guess. But you can see the difference in the thickness. Um, so between the two, there's the Apple TV is what's that? Probably getting on for two and a half times thicker, um, and not that much um, smaller really. So a chunky bit of kit. Um, there they are. Three things that have been connected to my TV. I've got a few other Chromecast and stuff in there at the moment. But um and the other thing to remember, I kind of found this as well, kind of ironic I suppose. This is came with the Ouya, so the revolution begins. It begins revolution even. Um and it, whenever you anyone anyone plugs anything new into your TV, it's always a, a revolutionary thing that Apple have been banging on about how your new TV you never 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 be TV won't be ever the same again and yada yada yada. So we'll see what happens. Um we'll plug it in. Um I'm sure we'll get all the usual things that everyone else gives us, like um Netflix and um other streaming services and some games as well, hopefully. So um, there we go. There's a bit of uh, kind of setup. Um, here we go. I won't drop it this time. Um, let's plug this little chap in and see how we get on. Okay, so let's see how we get on. Let's uh, plug it all in. Let's fire up the screen. See what happens. No signal. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> right. Uh, which one are we on? It's a bit of incompetence. Uh, not that one. It's not that one. It should be that one. Or is it that one? It's not that one. Oh, it is that one. Okay, there we go. So, uh, asking us for our remote, so there we go. Here's our little remote, difficult to see in this light. But uh, it's asking us to do something with the uh, trackpad, so hold the menu and plus. Okay, it's not asking us to the connect. So the menu button and the plus button to connect the remote. There we go, English. So we can scroll, I don't want to scroll. But I can. Oh, English UK. I do want to scroll. Okay. Must I? No, I don't know. It's Spanish. Okay. Now what do I do? No, 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 no. English India. That's interesting. Does it pass the idiot test? No, it doesn't pass the idiot test. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've selected it. Now what do I do? I expect they focus tested this to absolute death. And they said, no, no, not even an idiot's not going to get this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> the idiot's wife <laughs> he's going what are you doing you silly man well I don't know I mean what I've selected it so just leave it I'll just leave it I'll just leave it maybe it'll self select itself okay, the idiot's handing over to his wife no what's there no 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 no, no. That's, that's the volume now isn't it So you can um, you select yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah, so that's what you're showing you do on the screen. Yeah, yeah. But then I don't know. Oh, when you selected it. Uh, so then what do I do? Yeah, 
Yeah, I tried that. We're now randomly pressing buttons. <laughs> It'd be a long, boring video, isn't it? I mean, very odd. Ah, what do you do? What did you do? What did you do? <laughs> I just pressed it. Maybe you just pressed it. I just pressed it. Okay, she just pressed it. <laughs> oh dear. See, all the, it's ridiculous. You can't even buy an Apple TV at the moment in the Isle of Man, where you get in the Isle of Man, I suppose, but in Mali. But, I've got to go all the way down. It's like the UK and US. Right? Why don't they just put the 20 most uh, obvious countries? So what did you press? You just pressed it. Okay, you just press it. Okay. Right, we worked it out. <laughs> See, it didn't say, did it? Didn't say, it didn't say move it down and then press it. I mean, it's just... It'll be a f <laughs> anyone's been watching the video here. Who is this guy? He put on his trousers. Probably puts one back to front. I don't wear trousers, right? Um, use your Apple device to automatically add your Apple ID. Set up with device. Oh, blooming Henry, this sounds complicated. Not available on iPad 2. Um, okay, let's see if this works. Oh, blooming Henry. Okay, so you've got to find your Apple device, which for me is an iPad three so let's do that let's um no that's the wrong one let's set enable bluetooth oh it is on hold device close to apple tv <laughs> then then do what okay it's on now see right can it can it find my apple tv it's having a look. I'm not sure. It needs to be closer? No, you have a Bluetooth, surely. This is one of the most exciting videos on, on YouTube. I switch the Bluetooth off and on again. That's always what they say, doesn't it? Switch if you switched it off and on again. Okay, let's try that. Though it does just show an iPhone, doesn't it? It did say it didn't work for an iPad too, so it just suggests it does work for other iPads. Yeah, I'm gonna go find my iPhone now and do it. Ugh. Okay, let's have a hiatus in filming while I go and dig out an iPhone. See if that'll work. Okay, so back with an iPhone now. The iPad clearly didn't work. Let's have a go with the iPhone. Maybe it, has to be, maybe it has to be really close. Maybe it's shown it to be close. I don't see why Bluetooth would have to be. It's not like an RFC or anything, is it? Oh, there we go. So, you can see that on there. Set up Apple TV. Okay. Yes, yeah, set up on Apple TV, please. Okay, I don't think you want to you see that. Oh, I'm doing it on my phone so you can't see it. That's clever, isn't it? Okay. Send as to Apple and I can improve Apple, blah, 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 okay. Oh, right, so back to the uh, the thing I can't use. Um, locational services and area screen saver, go on then. Let's be radical. Let's do that. Use Siri. Uh, not a fan of Siri, but let's have a go. This is a dear old girl. 
the Aero screensaver. Uh, additional videos, blah blah blah. Downloads are 600 megabytes a month. No, yeah. These boring photos do I help Apple to uh, yeah, go on and share with app developers? Oh, lovely people. Terms and conditions. Uh, I wonder how many pages. I wonder if anyone clicks on disagree. Not the legality that is. Terms of, I've just done that, haven't I? Hang on up. Is that something else? Okay, so it looks like something's kicking off. And there we go. Do, 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 do. So, there we go. Uh huh. So, this looks like. Oh, I don't know what the heck that is. <laughs> What's that? Don't know what that is. That one's mine. That one's mine. Yeah, yeah. It was my very small collection of iTunes music. Actually, it's not all my iTunes music. But anyway, I, I don't know what that one is. Maybe I got the one for free. Maybe that's some weird, like, YouTube thing. And music, photos. Um, okay, so I'm going to look at the App Store, see what it's preloaded. Well, that's not the App Store, is it? Okay, but there is. It's the App Store. Let me take it back. So we can have a look at. This is very similar to um, the App Store experience on an iPad or iPhone, so we can kind of see some highlighted games. Although, quite I'm not surprised anyone needs to know Netflix is there. So we've got Rayman Adventure, um, Beat Sports, which is um, which is an exclusive. Um, Apple TV game from Harmonix and Tilting Point. Very many events are obviously from Ubisoft. What else we got down here? Um, how do you see it English? Yeah, all right. Um, we got Beat Sport, Crossy Road. That was one of the famous. That was that was there when the uh, Apple TV was announced. Rayman Adventure, free to play, Geometry Wars, Transistor, old PC console game. Uh, Shadowmatics, very nice, but it's paid. So we're seeing. Which one of the interesting things we were kind of um, we've been debating really um, how how much developers would use this as a free to play um, experience and how much as a paid experience. Obviously, Apple is at the moment or has been for, a, for a, not at the moment for a, for a while now, years really, have been trying to push its platform as a paid platform. That's partly because it knows um, free to play is very difficult for a, for some most developers really to, to make money out of unless you have a, a very smart analytics team and um and making a certain type of game very hard to make money out of free to play the other interesting thing with um apple tv is crossy road being a great example um there's no advertising at the moment on the apps on the apple tv so crossy road has made over 10 million dollars on basically on its video ads um can't do that on this platform at least at the moment because there's no ads um so that's another big issue for people who would otherwise do free games um, and hope to monetize on advertising. So that's why we've kind of been expecting um, Apple TV to be more of a paid platform. So we're kind of seeing Beat Sports, um, you know, it's fairly expensive, that's you know, eight pound, what's that gonna be in dollars, I don't know. Um, but you know, we're seeing a higher price point on the Apple, on the TV than we would do on on, on the iPhone or the iPad. Um, but still a fair amount of um of free stuff. So I mean Jetpack Joyride, you know, pretty famous um game, iPhone game, Mr. Jump, um I mean it's more of an indie thing, Badlands, pretty pretty uh, well known. So um but quite a small selection there we're seeing in our what to play. And um yeah, maybe not anything that's jumping out at people with the exception of Beat Sport. We've got down here. So this is uh, Luminous Cities, so that's just out as well. So these are ones, uh, Octodad as well, just out this week on iOS platforms. Um, both of those are paid. So this is paid, uh, bing, bing, okay. Does not commute, oh, we like does not commute. We'll have a go at that. Um, and got some apps there as well. We've got some gorgeous games. So again, going back um, into the paid. So the gorgeous games, I imagine, are all going to be paid, aren't they? Because Apple's going to go, only get gorgeous games if you pay for them. You rotters. Um, so, do, 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 more games. Um, I mean, Asphalt 8, it's quite a lot. Isn't there, isn't there? So, yeah, some indie ones and all. You know, it's an old Cannabolt, a couple of years old now, Edge Extended. That's all pretty old. 
Well, let's have a quick look and see. This might be embarrassing. Um, but we can see, so this would be interesting for a lot of people, is... Um, so these are games that... Uh, so these are games that I've purchased, or... I must have had more than that. Um, anyway, um, that I've already got on iOS, um, that it's kind of mirroring through. So these are games that I've already downloaded on iOS, other platforms that are available now as a kind of a, a unified app across the t across TV. Um, so, okay, um, and search. So we've got a trending, I mean, nothing very exciting about that, is it? <laughs> Speed test. Um, so the search, the one um, I think people have been a bit surprised about is you have Siri, which is a quite powerful voice search doesn't work for games which people are rather annoyed about so if I wanted to find a game let's think of a game um, oh, game I know that's on there um, okay let's have a look at this one let's see if I can spell it right um, I think I think of the, of the game uh, there we go so there's, a, so there's tiny tracks from our friends at strange flavor in the UK trains little tiny trains um, okay don't actually want this don't actually want to buy that <laughs> so, um, but um so if you know the game you want you can find it but um yeah it's been a, kind of a, a bit of a typical Apple issue really that um, certainly with the eye with the Apple watch that um, if you've not been if you're not featured um, on the store then um, it's very difficult to get oops, very difficult to get any um, any discoverability um, which is given the amount of games that are coming out for um, that will be coming out for the uh, for the Apple TV that's going to be a big problem a lot of people obviously at the moment there's, there's not millions of games out for it but there are probably hundreds of games quite quickly and if you have to if the only ones that are going to make any money are the ones that are being featured by Apple that's going to be not a great solution for many people now I'm stuck here how can I <laughs> the idiot has got stuck again. I have to ask my wife to come and sort me out. <laughs> so can we go back? Is, why is it not back button? Our oh, menu probably. There we go. Here's a back button. It's called menu. Okay, the idiot solved solved that. So let's. Um, so we try and download something. Yeah, why not? So jetpack joyride. Let's see. Um, what is going to happen? So it looks like it's going to take some time to download, is it? Or is it going to go speedy, speedy? I guess obviously it depends on my internet. But my internet's fairly quick, I would think. Unless Jetpack Jorah has got very big. How big is it? I think it's having... Well, maybe we'll just wait for a second while uh, while that downloads. Okay, so downloaded didn't take that long, but um, a bit dull for you guys, I suppose. So let's open it. So another kind of um, interesting point with Apple TV is obviously it comes with this, the very image, very small little um, remote control with a touch screen and as we finally worked out a clicker on it <laughs> um, but the apple tv also does support um game pads oh let's just turn that down um so there is a kind of um it's a third party the the uh, steel series um kind of controller is apple's preferred third party um controllers so actually when you buy the apple tv you can you can buy that you know, as part of a not really a bundle, but you can add it as a peripheral. But um, all st all standard um, MI all all um, gamepads that support MIF enabled or MIF enabled, which is that kind of um, the standard for, for Apple stuff. Um, they they will work on Apple TV. But there is this big kind of issue that Apple, um, you know, to have a standardization has to have all games have to work with the remote because most people clearly will not be. Um, buying a controller, I've imagined be made more than ten percent of people with Apple TV actually have a controller. So you, you can't assume people will have a controller, even though obviously most gamers would go out and get a controller or will have a controller that will work with it. And obviously, if you wanted to play, not necessarily Jetpack Joyride, but um, a lot of games you'd you'd want um, a joystick or multiple joysticks and shoulder buttons and all that stuff. Anyway, um, we'll have a go and see see what happens. Um, is it cloud? Is it actually doing anything? Was it telling me that? Um, I should cloud save probably. I don't know. I don't want to cloud save. 
Yo, Back to the Future and Player One. So, um, let's see how terrible I am at Jetpack Joyride. And it doesn't give me any controls at all, is it? How is that what am I doing? Um, okay, so I'm pretty suppressing. So that's a, this is a pretty, uh, oh, go straightforward. Let's put this out as well. The power of love. Uh, very cool. It's like we're traveling back in time rather than. Oh, we're going to go in the future? Okay, it's dead. Alright, well. Right. Oh no, am I going to. Oh, it wasn't dead, I traveled in time. That's I see. Ay, bash. Poor old DeLorean. Okay, well, we get the idea with that, really. Um, doo -doo. So, should we come right out of that? There we go. So, that worked fairly, uh, fairly seamlessly. Um, probably, uh, what else should we have a go at? Probably mm, Rayman Adventure on the, on the touchpad. Um, Game controller optional. I was in that process. Okay, let's see how, how this one goes. Oh, really? Okay, you don't want to see that, do you? Okay, so this is interesting. So I just entered my password, and now it said um, it's given me an extra kind of prompt saying require password. So if I make a password with my um, with this account, um, will it should it ask me for my password? So I could never require it. Always require it, or it, require after 15 minutes which is, which is kind of the standard um, app store um, scenario um, interesting it gives you the extra option I guess with um, a TV it's a bit more of a shared device or you can imagine kind of kids playing it more than potentially at least an iPhone or an iPad um, so um, I don't know let's, let's go for belt and braces always always require it do I definitely want to download it I'll go on I suggested I might want to Oh, I've cancelled it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, go for that again. It, it strikes again. Okay, so Mr. Rayman has arrived. Let's open him up. See what he does. Oh, there we go. Game center's kicked in. New game. Choose your name. Okay, let's go with that. That's fine. So I imagine I don't know how will we control this. Will it tell us how we control it? I guess that's an interesting thing. Oh, get on with it. Yeah, get on with it. Choose your hero. Well, surely my hero is um, Rayman. Who's Rayman? Who's that other person? Maybe if I hadn't skipped the cutscene, I wouldn't. I would know these things. So Rayman, there he is. Pre okay. Oh, pressing a button to oh, to start. Now what am I doing? What am I going to do to jump? I wonder. Tap to jump. Okay, well done, Ubisoft. Swipe backwards to change direction, that sounds overly complicated. Oh no, ooh, look at that. Am I supposed to catch this big egg thing, I suppose? Swipe forward to attack. Attack the egg. Oh, that's me, that pinball. What's going to come out of the egg? Tap to open the egg. Okay. Have it again? Yes. I've got a vern. Ooh, a rare vern. He's going to turn into a big plant by the look of that. What is he doing up there? Hmm. 
Okay, well we can see um that down. Kind of how they're using the controls. I think I'd probably be happy with a joypad to be honest. I suppose swiping backs and forwards is not that bad, but it's not a very big remote, so you could get a bit potentially a bit confused, or you could not quite be precise as you would otherwise want to be. Hey, Vern's friends need rescuing. Okay, I think we've enough of that. Oh, we haven't. So yeah, a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a Rayman adventure. Um, let's come out of that. Um, so I guess the other thing people probably be looking at it being called Apple TV is TV shows. So I guess with these kind of things, we're just going whacking into iTunes and buying stuff through there. Well, that's a series pass, thirty pounds. There we go. And movies. So, kind of, um, yeah, it's like the app store on a on a TV, isn't it? Really, which is kind of what Apple TV has always been about. Computers, settings, there's things I've downloaded. So pretty, um, pretty sparse kind of UI compared to something compared to Android TV, which is a bit more. Um, it's a bit more, more vertical in terms of how it has its uh, user interface. Um, but we can see, we can get an idea of what's going on. Obviously, with this kind of stuff, I guess, certainly when it comes to gaming, um, we will um, there will be changes as more stuff comes on board. I guess it will be, other, other in, the other thing that will be interesting to see is if it has the weekly kind of update cycle that you have on the um, iOS app store. Um, oh, we want it like it doesn't not commute. We like does not commute. So uh, I have to buy it. Oh, okay. Did I not buy it on iTunes? Maybe it was free before. Okay. Well, there we go. We've learned something new. Right. So uh, there we go. Apple TV. Um, yeah. You have to. Um, you could, you tap you tap on the remote control. I think that's something that we didn't know. Don't look like an idiot um, when you do your uh, YouTube video. Um, yeah, maybe come back in in a month or so um, and see kind of how we've got on, and maybe um, play through a few games with the joypad as well or a, a controller. See how that changes it. I guess the other thing that will be interesting to see is how people start doing um, kind of releases across um, all app stores now. So you got iPhones, Apple TVs, um, I guess Mac Store as well. Um, so that's quite a powerful. Um, if you get featured across all that kind of stuff, um, that's been quite powerful for people in terms of um, getting their game, giving their game momentum from the start. Cool. Okay, so there we go. Apple TV. Uh, we won't give us mark out of ten. I don't think not yet. But um, maybe 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 come back. Come back in a month or so and see see how we go. All right, see you then. Bye.